guys, I'm sitting here and watching the sunset oh, behind that island. There seems to be a quite a big island there. There's a city in the background there, I don't know what place is that, but there seems to be a lot of lights. The sun is going down, it's still drizzling by the way. Drizzling is not so, as you can see there. Looking at the light, you can see the water. It's not a heavy drizzle, but uh, it was raining very heavy in the afternoon. It's a beautiful little sunset here. Um, it's a little boat, I think. Let's see. What's that? No. Uh, a boat. Could be a little boat on the water there. Sun is going down. There behind the clouds. Beautiful. Not quite as intense as in Africa. Africa would be pink, purple, orange, red, blood red. Very mellow, very mellow. Okay, I'm drinking a couple of dodgy beers here. Sitting on a very dodgy chair. There is the after deck, whatever they're singing songs there, so I'm trying to escape the music as you guys can imagine the music it's around 5 30 going on six o'clock i'm waiting for my dinner to be served at 6 30 on the house so in the meantime i'm drinking some dodgy beer you guys remember from last night i had the fosters we had it on a live show with melshi now the problem is the foster is uh is warm so what i'm doing is i'm pouring it in there and then i add a, i bought a cold cold beer something got light it's only it's 60 pesos and i add the Miguel on top. So we got San Miguel Light and Foster Strong. Foster Strong is uh, five point six point nine percent. San Miguel is only five percent. Five percent alcohol. But I mix the two together and I get a good brew. I get a good little brew, guys. But, oh yeah, it is a boat, guys. Now you can see it. It's definitely a boat. I don't know what he's doing, but he's got a light. <coughs> got a light. Okay, uh, oops, focus is not good. Try again. Try again. Try again. early morning, um, she took the early morning flight from Cebu and she arrived there, I just want to see if this is water, no it's not water, anyway, 
Dan is there, my friend Dan from England, and he's waiting for his girlfriend, I think, to come from Manila or wherever. We're supposed to have two, a uh, few Russians coming today by, by motorbike. Uh, the Russians seem to uh, travel Mindanao by, like to travel Mindanao by motorbike. So that should be interesting. I don't know how long they will stay. Uh, I'm gonna add more beer here. Quite relaxed. I've been reading a really interesting book. Shit, I don't have it here right now. I'm going to show more of it, uh, show it to you later. It's about big data. Big data. I know it sounds boring, but it's actually very interesting. This dude actually did a pretty good job. So far, I've been reading about um, data. You know that that they gleaned, that they scraped from porn sites like Pornhub, of course uh, Google, and all so on. You know, and, and it's some very interesting conclusions. Uh, the name of the book is Everyone Lies. Everyone Lies. So basically from the data we can see that everybody is telling lies. About whatever, you know, their sexual preferences, about what they fear. Men, uh, men are very worried about their penis size. But women, interestingly enough, are very worried about their vagina smell. The smell of their vagina. So the, it's like the equivalent of men, uh, you know, worried about the penis size. For females, it is the smell of your vagina. <laughs> In case you didn't know that, now you know. So I'm having a quiet little beer. I'm going, I'm going down to the kitchen. No, not the kitchen, the mess hall. Having a dinner, it's on the house, it's included in my ticket. So I'll show you guys, after I finish here, I'm going to walk down there. Hopefully I have a nice little um, meal. I don't know what's going to be. My, my guess is going to be rice, but... Ah. Let me finish my beer. And, uh, butter. disappointed because um, I was planning to buy a bottle of gin or vodka today and then sit here and enjoy my gin and vodka on the ship but just didn't have time in a rush in a crush a crush in a rush because um, I, did, I had to rush for the van I had huge heavy bags then when I got out of the van I had to jump in the taxi when I got to the port there were no shops around so I was totally marooned totally cut off I'm only having uh, some quiet beers here tonight guys you'll be very glad to hear only quiet beer sure so congratulate me already congratulate me already um, well I like the view let me swivel over that way again so you guys can enjoy the view with me but only look at my ugly ugly face it's quite pretty there isn't it look at this long line there, there, there. and then you have the island there bunch of mountains so this is my view right now got a couple of guys hanging out but this and this area upstairs is empty there's nobody up here I would have loved to be up here actually if I knew I was I would be alone I would be sleeping up here and the air is great <clears throat> really fresh air guys <clears throat> This is the freshest air you'll find anywhere in the Philippines, in the open sea. We still have this kind of blaring karaoke bullshit in the background, but hopefully you can't hear it. Hopefully it's so shit that the sensors won't pick it up. <laughs> Somebody said. <laughs> That's a good one. It's so shit. I, really, I always laugh at that. Uh, so, I'm getting a bowl. Uh, this is my appetizer. My appetizer, uh, semi-warm beer, semi-strong, semi-good. Semi-warm, semi-strong, and semi-good. This is what I'm drinking now. This is going to give me a good appetite. 
and I may go down to the room, do some more reading. I'm enjoying this book, Everyone Lies. Everyone Lies. Did you know that you were lying? It's like I said before, we're all in denial. It's, a, it's just a different way of saying we're lying or whatever, you know. But it's, it's very interesting to see it confirmed by big data and big science. So I guess the question is, why do we lie? Why lie? I also wonder about that. Why lie? Or can we can we say why white lie? Why the white lies? Okay. Finishing off the beer now. And then I go down to the mess. See if they got my food ready or not. To be served. Food is ready. I don't know what time is it. Wait, let me have a look. What time is it? Actually, I should try to call call my little girlfriend. Here. See how she is. See if I can get a connection on the ship. It's uh, six zero three. Six zero three. Let me try to make a call, guys. While I still have any kind of. Here on the open sea, sometimes you can easily go out of range. Calling. Let me see. I'm using the Sony. Let me see if she's going to answer. No answer. No answer. It's ringing. Ringing. But maybe she's busy cooking. She could be in the kitchen, guys. She could be in the kitchen. guys we're in the open sea here so this is the way I like it I, actually I love traveling I love this feeling of being on in motion on the way and I love slow traveling I hate this kind of quick rush jobs you know hopping between airplanes and long flights I love I love long slow journeys like trains like ships it's my absolute favorite
Frankly speaking, it's cans. Cans is not packing material, you know. So let me see if I can find a better. Oh, sorry. <coughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Should I find a better description? Oh shit, it's raining. Uh, oh no, he knows. Maybe here. I don't know. Everybody is singing. Hello. It's here in the rain. It's cold and rainy. I'm gonna be. Wait, let me go inside now. I'm gonna find that kitchen. For the cabin, what time can we eat? Now, sir. Now? No, until 8. Oh, okay, good. Yes, sir. So, what, uh, what choice do we have? So, we have a chicken caldereta and pork adobo, sir. Including okay. with the uh, bitter bites. Okay, we have, uh, this is vegetable. Yes, sir, and then uh, with Chicken or soup. pork, yes. right? So, how about chicken? Is that how okay? Much, I can I check your ticket, sir? Yeah, yeah. Can you show my ticket here? I have it right there. Yes. Otherwise, people can sneak in here. <laughs> <laughs> so your choice, sir, is uh, chicken. Chicken, yes. Uh, sir, we will serve your food, sir. So you, so you can, you have one choice or two? Yes, uh, one choice, and then this is. Okay, okay, okay that's fine. Yeah. And can I get a beer? Um, uh, right, sir. No, no, no. Uh, I like the. What do you want, sir? Let me try. Me. How much is red horse? Seventy, sir. Seventy, and the other one. Uh, 60 for Sunmic Light and 60 for SMB. Okay, make it SMB. SMB. Only one, sir? Only one. Uh, yeah. cold. Is it cold? Yes, sir. Cold, huh? Yes. Okay, and you have a glass? Yes, sir. Glass. Okay, okay. Okay. Thank you. I'll sit here, okay? Okay, that's very nice. I'm gonna get a beer. I'm gonna sit here with my beer and uh, check my ticket. <coughs> I'm here with a very nice tablecloth. I better keep my ticket because I have to have more meals tomorrow. And uh, um, I'm gonna continue my beer drinking with my meal, of course. God, if you just eat food and you have no liquids, or only solids, no liquids, it's kind of boring. Eh? I always recommend solids and liquids, guys. Solids and liquids. So I'm gonna be served, I hope. I'm just gonna wait here. I'm gonna wait here. Wait here. Oops. Okay. I have another. Ah, oh, here we go. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. We got water. We got is that soup. And this is a uh, carrot soup, sir. Oh, carrot soup. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. And do you have uh, one big glass for me? Yes. yes. Thank you so much, man. Wow. Look at this. I got a nice little spread here, guys. I got a. Uh, Water, I got my beer, I got my carrot soup. Mm. 
Okay. We're gonna taste this immediately. We're gonna taste this immediately. We're gonna have a little sip here just to taste carrot soup. Mmm. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's a bit um bit buttery. A bit buttery, but um carrot soup. Slightly buttery, but let me see. Mm. I'll tell you what, it's hot. And the flavor is good. It's definitely buttery, but it's good. It's really good. Really good. This is your appetizer, I suppose. Actually, this is my appetizer, guys. That's my appetizer. Oh, San Miguel. Mondo selection. Eh? I never knew that. Sir, on the uh, I put glass, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, so one glass is fine. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you, thank you, thank you. so much, my friend. Welcome, What's your name? Uh, Enrique, sir. Enrique. Oh, there, Enrique. Okay, Welcome, brother. Sir. Thanks so much, huh? Welcome, sir. Salamat. <laughs> Very friendly service. Good service here. Good food. Good soup, good beer, good water, I suspect. So this is the scene. I'm sitting right uh, opposite the portal. If I should sit there by the... Wait, let me walk over there. <clears throat> if I sit here next to the portal, I don't know if you can see too much. Uh, it's very dark. It's very dark. Oh, you can see the sea. I don't know, yeah. Can you guys see the sea down there? The wake, the wake of the ship. The wake of the ship. But it's okay, I like this area. And the aircon there is very cold, it's freezing cold. You know, I'm not very good in aircon. I'm gonna sit on this side. I've got my old setup here. Got my little beer. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the other one. And, oof. So this is all on the house, guys. It's included in the ticket price. Uh, except the beer. The beer is 60 pesos. 60 pesos. 6 zero. But not bad. Ice cold. Ice cold. I got another one of these little. Um, very strong. Very strong. Uh, <clears throat> got another one of these very strong uh, fosters. Very cheap and very strong. I bought 10 of them last night. Melchi and me finished 6 of them. I think Melchi was getting a bit drunk on them because they were like 7% alcohol. And they only cost like 18, 18 and a half pesos, guys. 18 and a half pesos is hardly any money. If you, if you think about these things. So what I'm doing now is pouring the... It's very warm. You can see very very warm. You pour it slowly. Let's say you try to go. And I'm gonna add. I can top it up with the colder, <clears throat> much colder, ice cold, pale Poulsen. <clears throat> That's gonna be a good beer, right there. Okay. So I have my setup here, guys. Sorry, as you can see, I have my own setup. Now I'm gonna bring the food closer. You bring the food closer. This I'm gonna keep for later. I'm not a great fan of. I'm not a great fan of this, uh, you know, entrees and in, you know. I just like to get stra straight into my food, which is look. Which is, uh, this is bitter gourd, bitter gourd, ampalaya they call it. This is some carrots here. This is some nice chicken. This is some rice. So I'm getting straight in here. Got my water, I got my beer, I'm, I'm very happy now. So guys, there is the, our friendly waiter there, Enrique. Enrique, I think. Very nice. Very good service there. Thank you, Enrique. Good service, very good. So I'm gonna sign off here. Everybody's eating. Everybody's eating now, so... Okay. Push to open. Uh, uh, push to open. Okay. Anyway, we're here, guys. We're not going anywhere. So I'm going to be reporting back to you guys soon.
this is my journey so far. First day, first day, first few hours on the ship, having a dinner, having a little meal, and uh, we're gonna get back to you guys soon. Cheers.